day, Kristen. Cool. Like we're talking temperatures in the mid 70s is the warmest part of the day. Sunshine, a little bit of haze going on, and very little precipitation like we saw yesterday and overnight. Really, uh, and this morning you can see that there was still some action going on, but the rest of today is going to be pretty calm. Now let's walk through what that's going to look like again this morning. We still saw some action towards our east tonight. Twin Falls seeing some action, some potential thunderstorms pop up there, but you'll notice in the central mountains and in the Treasure Valley, we're really not seeing much activity, so it is going to be a really nice day to get outside. We are still going to be seeing some haze out there in the atmosphere, but definitely not as much precipitation. Now, tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing some hot spots happen here near Idaho Falls and Twin Falls, some potential thunderstorms early in the morning. But again, the Treasure Valley seeing a calmer start to the day in the afternoon, though, that's when we're going to start to see some of these systems pop up once again. We're talking scattered showers all across the state, especially here in the central mountains, western Montana and southern Idaho seeing uh, thunderstorms pop up there in the Magic Valley. So Magic Valley is going to be seeing an active weather weekend. But if you are going to the football game on Saturday, I would really recommend you to bring a rain jacket and maybe a little bucket hat because we're going to potentially see some sprinkles there in the afternoon. We're looking at about a 20% chance of precipitation tomorrow night in the Treasure Valley. Now Sunday afternoon, we'll see some cloud cover, not as much rain happening. Central Mountains also seeing some of that rain come back. So we're really seeing some mixed weather here in the next few days, but this wet weather pattern is really sticking around through next week as well. So it is helping us in one way because we're starting to see a little bit less impact of smoke, less thick concentration. Owyhee County still seeing some moderately dense smoke, but I remember a few days ago I was showing this map and it was just super dense here in central Idaho. So we've definitely seen some relief thanks to this low pressure. So that is the good news, but there's still going to be haze sticking around. Temperatures today are going to be in the low 80s, 82 degrees in Weezer, 78 degrees in Nampa, so upper 70s as well at the warmest part of the day for the Treasure Valley. Similar conditions over here in our west central mountains, although pretty cool over there in Cascade with 63 degrees and a 20% chance of precipitation. Sun Valley could see a slight chance of showers, especially this afternoon and evening. We're looking at about a 20% chance there in Stanley with a high of 67 degrees. Now, the Magic Valley, this is the area that we saw those thunderstorms pop up and you can see that here in our future track by 9 p.m. We're going to start to see some of that action roll into the Magic Valley. We're talking temperatures in the upper 70s, so it's going to feel uh, pretty humid out there with all this action. Treasure Valley over the next week. Don't expect this wet weather pattern to go away anytime soon, but it is good news because it's helping us get some relief from those fires. Hopefully they can help tamper them down a little bit. And then of course we're getting some more seasonably average temperatures. So we're talking 78 degrees today. Some cloud cover going on in the sky, not precipitation though. That will return on Saturday. We're going to see a high of 79 degrees. And then the system is set to continue hitting us all the way through next week.